So in the former videos, we explained you everything about the tools and the components you need to build your own keyboard. And this time we're gonna start the final assembly. And I'm not a solder pro, therefore I have Patrick with me. Mm. Hi on. And he's from our prototyping department within Cherry. So he's a very experienced person when it comes to build keyboards. So let's start. The first thing you have to do is pre-test your PCB. So you connect your PCB to the uh, computer with the USB cable, and then you can use a tweezer or just a piece of wire and a test program, which will, will be in the video description, a link. And then you go step by step, switch by switch, and see if the PCB is really working. That's an important step. Otherwise, you're gonna assemble your keyboard and then find out that one or two keys are not functioning. And then you can harvest your keys and will have a lot of trouble. So therefore, it's better to pre-test that one. The other important thing is that before you start soldering, you have to arrange your keys within the PCB. Because as we mentioned in the last video, this is a multi-layout PCB. So therefore you have, for some keys, several options to put it to the PCB. So the easiest thing is that you're gonna do it with your keycaps and with the frame. So let's, go, let's start. So what we did here is we put in some keys for the bottom row, choose the right spacebar because at some point there are different sizes, assemble the keys, and test it with the frame if the position is the right one. And then you can have your spacers and stabilizers put on the PCB. Add some keys to make the adjustment right. So with that, we are ready to go. So make sure the soldering station is adjusted for the 360 degrees. Your frames are there, your switches, your solder. So all the tools are ready that you can start the process. And now, Patrick, it's your turn. Assemble the keyboard. Yep, let's start. Okay, so now we start the actual soldering process. So we're gonna solder the switches that we used for the adjustment at the first step. So you don't have to assemble all the switches. Um, just have a few switches on the corners and on the bottom row that the PCB is really nicely adjusted. The one important thing is that when you assemble the first switches, you press down the PCB, that there is no spacing between the switch and the PCB, otherwise you will be in trouble on the later switches. And then you can uh, start with your first soldering. So you heat up the switch, or you clean your soldering equipment, you heat up the switch a little bit, and then you solder it for about two or three seconds, and then it should be looking nice. And then you clean again your soldering equipment and then you can continue and assemble all the switches in a row. So when you solder the switches, it's really important that you heat up the pin of the switch itself and the PCB and then attach the solder. Like Patrick is showing us here. And don't be afraid about the little fluid that's outside, so you can clean it with alcohol if you want to, but you can leave it as well, it doesn't hurt. And during the soldering, please make sure that the windows are open, that uh, this steam is not that healthy, so there should be enough fresh air in the room. So Patrick is showing us now the perfect amount of solder. So the pin should be covered, but there should be no uh, bulb around it, so don't put too much on it. So with the first switches soldered and assembled, we can go for the final assembly. Therefore, we put the PCB and the frame into the case because it's easier to plug in the switches. And now we're gonna finalize the keyboard. So Patrick, go ahead. Let's get started. So with all the switches in place, we can start with the final soldering process. So we take out the frame of the case, be aware that the switches are loose so they can fall out, and then we can start with the final soldering. So 
So we assembled all the switches, we have been soldering all the switches, it's now time to put it into the case and make a final product. And afterwards we're gonna put the keycaps on to make it really look nice. So thanks partner for soldering. Yeah, you're welcome. Now okay. the final part comes. And now it's time for the final step. We're gonna put on these nice little keycaps. So with the keycaps, we finished all the assembly. Thanks, Patrick. You're welcome. And thanks to our partner Candy Keys and GMK for making this video possible. On the next step, we're gonna do the programming of the keyboard because some of the keys are very special and you have to adjust it with the firmware. So stay tuned for the next video. Thank you. Bye.